So we're going to be drawing triangles to figure out other trig functions based a lot on using Sokotoa. Um, we might be using the dagger and zeros, and we can also use a little bit of work on our quadrants. So if you guys think of secant five fourths, and this is the angle you're going off of, does anybody have an idea of what we should do to kind of label square that? Okay, good. All right. So this would be which one would this one be? Okay, so this would be your and this would be okay. Good. Okay. Good. So you would have cosine would be four over five. Very nice. Okay. So when you label your picture, where's the four going? Okay. Good. Oh yeah, nice friend. It is a three, four, five triangle. Very nice. Good. You can put that three in there too. Good work. What's the other one? There's a five, twelve, thirteen. 5, 12, 13 is a big one that comes up. There's another, there's another one still. I don't know. Yeah, look it up. What are they called? Yeah, they're called staggering triples. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, I don't know why they don't tell me what they are. Yeah, yeah. Do you have to memorize all those? No, you can always use the A squared plus B squared plus C squared too, right? Okay. Yeah, it is. 5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17. Okay, so what we're going to look at today is a lot of labeling and drawing the picture. And you guys want to use this whenever they give you information about one type of trig function, but they ask you about another. Okay, this is going to be how we're going to solve them. So here they give you that your sine of theta is negative two thirds. They give you the tangent. Is this thing tangent positive or negative? Positive. positive. Good. All right. They ask for you to find the other five trig functions. So this would be like saying, well, I know sine. Give me, I don't know, secant. So if you don't know what they're asking you for, they only give you information about one trig function, what we're going to do is have to draw ourselves a picture of a triangle. Right? One of the most important things is that you guys can figure out what quadrant you're in, especially if they don't just come out right out and tell you. How did you get third quadrant? You got it. Nice job. Tangent positive, sine is negative. So you're kind of going back to your little AS. The third quadrant where your tangent is going to be positive, but the sine will be negative. So when we draw our picture, right, make sure that it looks like a bow tie in that quadrant. Right, the end of the bow tie, we've talked about this before too. Okay. Where does your theta always have to go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Origin. Origin. Nice job. But Why do you draw um, well, you want to look like a bow tie. Technically, this is like the correct way to draw them. So if you and maybe if you got a multiple choice question like this, I mean, they might have like they usually don't do this, but if they ask you like what picture would coordinate, you would like something that looks like this. So, wait, so like one that goes this way, and that would be in the second quadrant. Right. Like, uh, Frida, if you kind of kept this idea going, like this would be what you want to draw. Yeah. Like, okay. You know what I mean? So if you kind of drew them all out, it would look like a bow tie. So like the negative part. Yeah. That works. Um, so from here, what we want to do is do some labeling. Now, using Sokotoa, what was your sign? Oh, oh great. Good. Okay, so the O, we got our H. And I think we've talked about this before. This negative, does that mean like the, the opposite, the whole length is negative two? No. no. Right? That's just to show you what quadrant you're in. That's the reason why it's negative. It's still going to be a distance of two. So when we draw our labeling here, I'm going to take these away now. Okay. So the labeling, the opposite would be 2. Right. What's the height of value? 3. 3. Good. Okay. Alright. Now, to figure out all the rest of these trig functions, 
We are going to ask, we're going to need this part eventually. So I want we do that. Or, you know, two out of the three sides, think it easy. Diagram theorem, right? Oh. Yeah, it would be way easier. So let's set this thing up. We have, right, um, so then we use the diagram theorem to find the other side. So we get 2 squared plus x squared equals 3 squared. Make sure, guys, your hypotenuse is always the C. This is going to be 9 minus our 4. x squared equals 5. So x equals radical 5. Thank you. Alright, great. So once we have all our values, the rest of this is not too bad. Right? So we're going to be using our triangle. Right? And then we just want to do our labeling of all this stuff. Just make sure when you're setting up using your soap and toe, we're paying attention to what quadrant we're in, and if we're going to be positive or negative. So if you have your cosine, right? think about cosine in here. That can be positive or negative. Negative, right here. And then um, cosine is what over what? Good, all right. So let's do our labeling. Which one's your adjacent? Which one's your hypotenuse? Cos. Um, adjacent over the. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. Sorry, Carly. It's negative radical 5 over 3. You know what I'm going to do, too? Once I kind of have this labeled, if you guys feel more comfortable, like, kind of just rewriting it so it's easy to see. This is what? 3, 2, radical 5. Okay. Alright, so we know the cosine. How do we get the secant? Just flip it. Good. Does it say negative? Yeah. Yes, it does. Remember, they share the same properties. So secant and cosine do. Yes, thank you, Andrew. Good job. Alright. Do you guys hear, Andrew, when we flip, we can't have this radical on the bottom again? You have both by itself. Negative three radical five over five. Okay. Well, this is not too bad. The cosec here. Do we know what the sign is already? Yeah. So what would you guys do to get the cosec here? Perfect. We're just gonna flip. What? Bless you. The sign. Right. So what would you guys get for that one? Do a good job. Very nice. All right. So let's see. Tangent. Okay. So tan. Are we in the positive or negative? Positive. Because we're in the t quadrant. So tangent and cotangent. These are both going to be positive. So tangent. You guys want to say opposite over adjacent, like the toa. So if you do your opposite over adjacent, what's that going to be? Got it. Thanks for it. 2 over radical 5. Okay, then do our rationalizing. So 2 radical 5 over 5. I feel like you guys are good at rationalizing. We've done this like, yeah, it comes up a lot, a lot. Now, um, one thing with cotangent, and I this came up before too, would you guys want to flip 2 radical 5 over 5 or just flip this one? Yeah, just flip this up in the green, right? That's going to be the same thing as 2 radical 5 over 5, once just simplified. But when we flip this 2 over radical 5, we get radical 5 over 2. And is this one already okay now? Yeah, yeah we're good. That's it. What do you guys think so far? It's just the same stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's literally the same stuff. Yeah, cool. Alright, let's try the next one. Okay, so this time is tell you guys that you have a cosecant is 5 over 4 and you're in the second quadrant. Now sometimes they're nice like that and they'll tell you like you are in the first quadrant, you're in the second quadrant. But they have to give you some kind of clue where you are. Um, if you said something about positive acute angle, does anybody know what quadrant that would be? It's positive acute. Well, the first one. First one, good, because acute means less than 90. Right, so sometimes they might say something like that. Um, all right, so let's draw our picture. Make sure we are looking like a nice little bow tie here. And when you guys are doing your labeling, well, cosecant 
kind of hard to label that, so you guys might be able to. What would you guys want to really do first? They get signed. Yeah, so what's the sign going to be? Good, four over five. Perfect, you just flip. Nice work. Okay, so now we have the... Yes. Okay. All right, so we could do our labeling. Sign is opposite over hypotenuse. So four, five. What's the other one going to be? Three. Three. Great. Okay. Now make sure you guys are really paying attention. You are in the F quadrant right now. So the only things that should be positive are sign and cohesion. All the other ones are going to be negative. So why don't you guys go through, see if you can find the other five. Sometimes they're nice and easy like this, especially in the end when we do these longer problems. They like to use easy triples because the problems are long. So this is kind of a little short. Oh, it's share the same property, so it's going to be negative two. Anybody get a tangent? Good job. Negative four over three, so it's going to be opposite over adjacent. And we're in the S quadrant, talk about C. Good. And the cotangent would be negative three over one. How are those for you guys? Good. All right. What they want to do, right, like this little exit ticket, Okay. Usually they don't ask you to find two things, right? But this is a good way for you guys to see how they're asked. They really like to do stuff like this where they give you one trig function, what it's equal to. So they're saying the sign is 5 over 12 and your secant is less than 0. This is your clue what quadrant we're going to be in. So when you guys look at drawing your picture, does anybody know what quadrant this is going to fall on? Two. Two, good, because the sign is a positive value, the secant, which is like cosine properties, is going to be negative. So the only place this is going to happen is in quadrant two. So when we're doing our theta, I use this for some help, opposite over hypotenuse, make sure you guys label according to the theta. So the opposite is going to be five, the hypotenuse is 11, right? I'm going to leave you guys with this part from here. Okay, we need to figure out this bottom piece. Okay, so you've got two out of three sides of a right triangle. Okay. And then you want to find the cosine and the tangent. Okay, try it out. Anybody did it? Anyone put it up? 